We did not put any preconditions on Israel when it comes to using our security assistance. Uh, Idris, and I'll go to Tom. Uh, I mean, you, you just further to this point, you talked about how, you know, what separates the U.S. and Israel from Hamas is yeah. your democracies. You expect them to follow the rule of law. But Israel has a very long and well-documented history of targeting and killing civilians. We saw it earlier this morning when the U.N. said they killed five and now roughly 500 believed to be dead. I, I, you know, I, I get the point that you're trying to make, but the, that is the expectation. But why not say, given your history, even though you are an ally, we will put in end use monitoring systems. We will track you in the way um, that we track other countries. Why not put those guidelines in place, knowing what you know about them? We feel confident in our discussions uh, that the Secretary has had with Mr. Gallant. You just saw Secretary Blinken was um, back in Israel for a second time in just less than a week. The President is going to Israel today. Um, these are certainly things that will be discussed, but again, we did not put preconditions um, on Israel when it came to providing security assistance. We feel that Israel is, and, and democracies like Israel and us, um, should follow the law of war and will follow the law of war um, in protecting innocent civilians and directly targeting uh, where these known terrorists are. I guess they're not, is my point. To add insult to injury, the oppressors and enablers always use a black or brown face and occasionally yellow faces, that is, the model minority, to do the dirty work so they, that is, the oppressors and enablers, can look less immoral and more justified. One thing the evil U.S. empire and its proxies are good at is making everybody guilty by association for their atrocious, destructive, invasive criminal acts across the world through misapplications of affirmative action. Notice how they ensure House Negroes are at the forefront, taking the edge off not only the white colonialist apartheid regime in occupied Palestine, but also greenlighting ethnic cleansing and genocide of Palestinian Semites, that is, Arabs. That in itself is an iteration of bigotry strategies, a racist, supremacist manipulation tactic that manufactures consent across racial and ethnic lines as it uses and abuses equal opportunity and representation policies merely for nefarious ends. And like just because a command center is in a hospital, it's still a, a war crime to target those, right? So I guess what I'm saying is like there is evidence that they are not doing what you're saying they should be doing. Why not then say, okay, we will now put in the restrictions. Well, again, in relation to the report that you're referring to, I, I've, I've seen the reports. I, I don't have any more details to provide at this time. I, again, I don't know who is responsible. We don't have all the facts, and um, I'm sure as we learn more, um, uh, you know, that will inform conversations. But right now, I'm not going to go down a hypothetical road of who is responsible for something. What I can tell you again is what the Secretary has been very clear on is that we expect Israel to uphold the law of war. In this kind of a fight, the center of gravity is the civilian population. And if you drive them into the arms of the enemy, you replace a tactical victory with a strategic defeat. So I have repeatedly made clear to Israel's leaders that protecting Palestinian civilians in Gaza is both a moral responsibility and a strategic imperative. And our priorities, our objectives in supporting Israel is making sure that Israel has what it needs um, through our security assistance, sending a continued strong message of deterrence that um, should any other actor think of entering the conflict, that they think again. In short, affirmative action and tokenism, 
in the context of Palestinian oppression, entails the oppressor and enabler diversity hiring and parading token representatives from historically oppressed racial and ethnic groups. This manipulative tactic aims to downplay the severity of Palestinian oppression and pacify the clamor for freedom and justice for Palestinian Semites, that is, Arabs.